Hey everybody, Robin and Dana here with Lean Healthy Ageless. This is the place to go if you want support to be your best health, your best body, and your best vitality no matter what your age. And we're coming from California today, so we thought we'd be cool in the shade with our shades, but really because we're going to talk about the sunshine vitamin. Vitamin D. Yes, and guess what? Most of us are not getting enough vitamin D, and we certainly do not necessarily want to rely on the sun as the primary source of vitamin D. One, you know, we know about skin damage, the older we get, that's an issue. Two, um, as you age, even after the age of 20, 25 years old, the amount of vitamin D that your body actually absorbs from the sun diminishes a tremendous amount. So you are not going to be able to get the levels that you need through the sunshine source. Why do you care? Because vitamin D really affects so many systems of the body. One of the main reasons that we promote it is for immunity. It can actually increase your ability to fight a cold or the flu by 50% actually. 50% mm -hmm. if your levels are high enough. So tell us in the comment section, are you taking vitamin D and do you know what your levels are? We also saw an interesting study about six months, a year ago, that women who have optimal levels of vitamin D not only help to prevent breast cancer, but prevents its reoccurrence. Well, what is those optimal levels that were in that study? It's between 60, the levels between 60 and 80. Most people... And that's like under 40. Under 40, and 40 is considered normal. So I wanted to come especially today because I had my levels checked in June of 2018, and I was, you can see it right here, Robin, 41. Started taking the vitamin D3, K2 that we recommend because you need the K2 in combination with the D3 to get that kind of absorption and quality effect that you need, and you need that for also absorbing your calcium, by the way. So I was at 41, 40, whatever I just said, 41. And I was like, okay, I'm not getting the breast cancer protection. I'm certainly not at optimal for immunity. Eight months. Guess how high I went in eight months. How high? 71. 30 points. Wow. That's, so she's in that range between the 60 and yes. 80 that gives you that extra uh, protection. I was taking four drops a day uh, because I knew what my level was and just talked to my naturopath. He said, go down to three drops a day because you want to maintain it. Here's the thing about so many supplements, ladies. You don't just take it, get up, and then stop taking it because what happens? Your body... Well, that's what I did. Yes. I did that. I, my levels were so low. They were like 29. My doctor said, you need to be taking vitamin D. I was taking the drops. I got my levels up to 69. I was so happy with myself, and I found that I was spending a lot of time out horse by back riding that summer. And so I'm like, I'm out in the sun every single day. I don't need to take this vitamin D. And the next year when I had my levels tested, they were Shoot. back down to like 33. And so I was like, whoops. So I went back on my D drops. So we truly consider this one of the vital, vital nutrients, vitamins that you need to get in your diet every single day. There's so many good reasons for it. If you want to know more about the one that we particularly like and personally take, uh, you can just click the link provided. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, click the subscribe button and make sure you click that little tiny bell that will notify you every time we have a new video post for you.